Now, as we have previously shown, conductors have many free electrons. And if a conductor is moved across a magnetic field, the mechanical action causes the electrons in the wire to be deflected, just as we saw Mr. Electron deflected. This, in effect, establishes a negative and a positive charge at the ends of the conductor. We now have two charge terminals capable of producing a continuous flow of electric current just as we had in the cell. This is accomplished in practice by providing a means of continuing the movement of a conductor within a magnetic field. In all electromagnetic generators, regardless of size, the same principle is used to generate electricity. The deflection of electrons in a conductor moving across a magnetic field.